All right, everybody, welcome back. Full disclosure, I went back, reloaded my game, and did the library quest over again so I could read the book. And then I promptly found out that the books actually, uh, manifest themselves around the library. <laughs> so I didn't need to do that. Oh well. I did it anyway. I did everything the same. I spent time with June. I uh, talked to the one guy about his missing trumpet, which that's actually the first thing we're going to do today. Uh, it is supposed to be in the Amber Labyrinth somewhere. So that's where we're going. Yes, please. The eclipse that popped up last month was connected to the shopping street. Taka's trumpet? How would it turn up? Tokisaka? It's nothing. Let's keep going. What has been pulled into the eclipse is deep within. Clear the stage and head to the goal. Okay. Apparently, we're probably going to have to fight a boss monster to get the trumpet back, which... I keep meaning to look up, because I don't know what that is, other than a musical instrument. See? Yeah. Alright. I believe this one has Ikaya. stuff only weak to these two, so that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, that could probably change, considering we're in here for a quest. Kaboom! Haha, -ha. going back to lower level areas. So much fun. Oh, hey, that, that is, that actually is weak to win. I was not expecting that. Oh, come on, hold still. Oh, I got two in one. That is awesome. Alright. Don't you dare, little fairies. Oh god. Little brat fairies. That's okay. We will kill them all. Shards. I like him better for breaking open boxes. He's got a better range. Alright, up the stairs. Shoot! Shoot though! Shoot though! I like that. I like how she says that for some reason. Sounds weird. Alright. Fairy! Come here! See? Alright. Yeah. Yes, it is a treasure chest. We get steel shards. Yeah. All right. Let me have you open up the door, please. Oh, here we got this. Oh. Let's see if I can remember how to do this right. No! No, no, no! <laughs> I did it wrong. Ow! These little brat fairies? See? 
is just rude. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, because I failed utterly. I held down on the button. I don't need to hold down. There we go. That's better. Oh god, too crowded. Too crowded. No! Ow! Get away from me! Is it in here? No. Okay, well, where is it? Okay, so we came that way. Can't go that door, so we will go through this door. Oh. Spirit shards. Anybody down here? No. Awesome. Double kill. See? It is nice to be getting all these uh, items, though. Nice way to replenish going in here. Those two gave me a slight problem. Twilight shards. Okay. Oh, rocks. Bust on three. Oh boy, here we go with boss fight. Okay. No, you leave me alone. Woo! Yeah. Ah, darn it. No, get away from me. Yeah. Do I get a trumpet? Oh, I still didn't get a trumpet. I got beans. Okay. Maybe it's deeper in. It wasn't quite perfect. I got smacked. <gasps> I found it! Hey, isn't this a trumpet? In fact, yes. Okay, so that's exactly what I thought it was. I knew it'd be here. It belongs to someone I know. Oh, really? Sometimes things from the real, real world can find their way into the eclipse. For example, things that you thought you just misplaced, or people who just kind of disappear. I see. It seems like the eclipse is closer to than most people than they know. Yeah, it's just that we never noticed until now. Whatever the case, I need to return this to Taka later. Alright, get the trumpet. 
The other thing I figured out while we were uh, on uh, between episodes here is that there's this weird thingy at the end of things now. You smack it, See? it rolls around, and then you get as many items as the number you land on. Ha! So I landed on a crap number, but that's okay. Still, I got stuff. Yes, please, exit the eclipse. And now I can go take it to Daka! Yay! Found your trumpet! Taka, I found it! This is my grandfather's trumpet! It seems to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Ko! It was in a really weird place, but I'm glad I was able to track it down. Oh, really? Thank you so much! I know, take this with you. Awesome! Thank you for the tofu! It's a new recipe I learned from my grandfather. His name is Ignis. Please try it out. This looks good, thanks. Huh, I should be the one thanking you. I can finally focus on my work again. So it is in fact a musical trumpet. I need to start working harder to make the store a success. I have to make up for lost time. Yeah, good luck, Taka. Yay! I have so much virtue. Okay, now I guess we still have free time, and I don't know if going to the next part in this uh, searching for that thing in the in the um, in the square will move the story along. So I figure it's probably a good idea to hang out with our friends, but who? It looks like most of my other friends are at school. So, yeah, I'll go see where they are and what they're doing. Uh, we can spend time with Sora. Or Toa. Um. You know what? I Let's go spend time with Sora. I really do like her. I think she's pretty darn cool. So, yeah. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing out here? I've been bringing lots of snacks to the karate club lately. Sora's smiling much more in class, too. It seems as if the trouble at the club is resolved. I'm so glad. Yeah, we're glad, too. I feel like I'm interrupting. Cole, did you come to cheer for me? You mentioned you had a match, so I thought I'd come by. It hasn't started yet? There's still a little time left. Once I've warmed up, Chiaki and I are going to show everyone the results of our special training. If it's just warming up, I could probably help her out. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. I can probably handle being your partner if it's just for warming up. I don't do karate, so it won't be like a real match, though. You do that? Thank you! He doesn't get an outfit. Oh, a mixed martial arts match. Sounds fun. Sora, give him a beatdown. Huh, people are starting to gawk. I didn't even bring my karate gear. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> gear or not, I'm gonna go all out on you. Oh, great. I'd prefer it if you didn't. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah, let's make it a good match. I began to spar with Sora. At first, I simply did my best not to lose instantly, but soon our fighting spirits ignited, and we began to attack as if it were an actual match. And then he was beaten down. I think I'm done. I did my best, but I'm seriously outclassed. Ha, that's not true. You held your own. It was a great warm-up. You two certainly have quite, get quite the performance. It was a nice prelude to our match. Yeah, I'm really pumped now. I've got to put on a good show, too. Yay, water and a towel. Thanks, Ko. If you're thirsty, I've got a sports drink for you. <laughs> Thanks. Even so. What's wrong? I was just thinking that you've changed a lot. I never thought that little tomboy I knew back then would end up like this. 
Um, am I really that different? I mean, I know I looked a bit rough, but huh, no, no, it's not that. It's just, you were never afraid of bugs and you ate more than anyone else. You were always super competitive, even against adults. You'd cry when you lost and insist on rematches. Why do you remember all that? You're so mean, Ko. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. You just left a big impression on me. You were the first girl to train at the dojo, so it was kind of like having a little sister. <laughs> yeah, I thought of you like a big brother, too. Feels the same even now. <laughs> a lot's changed since then, but some things always stay the same, right? <laughs> Maybe. Is that how you really feel, Sora? What are you two talking about? Sora's past? Details. Give me details. <laughs> I'm curious, too. Ch Chiaki, and my... Sure, there's still a bit before your match. Now this one time... Stop it, Cole! Not another word! And embarrass Sora, chase me out of the area, leaving Chiaki and Mai only able to speculate about our childhood. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Okay. Now that that's done. Right. I think it's like straight ahead, practically. Uh, here we go. I think it's around here. Okay, now to fire up the app and make the gate appear. Easy enough. Well, hello. Holy crap, it worked. Seems like you found it. Hiragi, you were already here? This gate, it's different color than the other ones. The color indicates it's phase one. Basically, the eclipse is relatively stable and not too dangerous. At least, the main enemy of this labyrinth isn't an elder greed, if that helps any. Elder greeds. Those are the monsters we've been mainly going up against, right? Yes. The eclipses with elder greeds are in phase two. When they get to that level, a gate to the eclipse can occur spontaneously. The red gates that we've encountered before were of that variety. I see. So this yellow gate will turn red eventually if we don't deal with it right now? Correct. There are some cases where it stays the same for a few years, but there is the possibility of it turning phase two instantly, causing elder grades to appear. That's why we have to track them down and take care of them before they have a chance to change. So that's what you've been up to then. <laughs> More or less. Anyway, since we found it, let's clear it out. If you need to prepare, take care of that right now. Talk to Sora when you want to head in. Yeah, I'll do that. Talk to Sora? Well, I'm gonna save. Now I can't help but wonder if I just read that completely wrong and it didn't say talk to Sora. But a phase one eclipse. We should head in since uh, we were the ones to find it. If you need time to prep, better get to it. I'll be standing here. Well, no, I'm fine. I see. I didn't know a gate was here. Sorry about this, Sora. I'm also sorry for calling you out here even though you had nothing to do with club. It's all right. I'm just glad I'm able to help. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Well, let's get going. There is a powerful S-tier greed lurking in the heart of the labyrinth. Let's just get through it as quickly as possible and then defeat it. Got it. What's an S-tier? When exploring a free dungeon or previously cleared area, you can exit it anytime you wish. To leave, press the options from the menu. Okay. Yes, let's go. About fighting styles. Ko, Asuka, and Sora have their own strengths in fighting styles. 
Try out each character for yourself and learn how to use one, uh, each one effectively. Okay, yep, I like the wide range. Power attack decimates, okay. Skills are easy to use and highly effective, and she's got good ranged attacks. And she's very agile and is punchy. Awesome. Alright, let's get going. Oh, well. Ah! Sc excuse me, I wanted to hit this. Say, yeah. Ow! Don't do that. Rude. Okay. Oh, well, these guys are going down pretty quick. That's nice. Okay, did I miss anything? Just you. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, it looks like we've got two different ways we could yep. go. Yep. Or three? No, no, yeah. two, two, one, one shut. Yeah. All right, well, might as well pick one. Let's go. Oh. Stinga. Yeah. Right. Don't try to, you know, get me with your weird See? monster turrets. I'm ha! on you. Right. Ooh, hello, big one. Ha-ha! You are no match for me! Yeah. Oh my, again, with two different ways to go. Okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that direction. We'll see where this one goes. Kind of in the same generalized direction, looks like. But there's a treasure chest in here! Wind shards! Excellent. Run! All right. Who's lurking behind this corner? You. See? See? Okay. There we have another door. Shoot! Where are we? Yeah. Oh, I know where we are. Oh, that's very interesting. Oh. <laughs> okay. God, that was that was absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna go down this way and see where it takes me. It takes me to a treasure chest. Elixir. Oh my god. It's perfect. Okay. Well then. Uh, this way, right? I think. Probably not. Nope, not this way. Huh. I'm so confused. Huh. All right. Okay, here we are. Cannot kill me. 
Okay. There's a way to go. And just checking it out. Alright, looks like I picked the one with the item box. Treasure for me. Treasure for you. Opera glasses. What the heck are opera glasses? Uh, ranged attack is plus 30. That is kind of nice. Um... I don't know if I want to do that, but I'm gonna. Okay, and now it will be this way, right? Yes. It's nice when it's hard to get lost. It goes straight on through. Don't fall. Do not be an embarrassment. Boom. All of the items. <laughs> Just die. I keep hitting the wrong button. Kaboom! Okay. My goodness, aren't we getting close to the end of this one? Excellent. So much stuff that you guys just litter the ground with. It's amazing. Alright, what is in this direction? <laughs> Item! <laughs> Breath potion. <laughs> Love it. <gasps> I missed a block! Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, wow, you're actually weak to me. Ow. Okay, you know what? I can't remember my keys. That's what I wanted. Phew. Not sure how he managed to defeat it. R really? Because we only hit it, like, a couple times. I guess it's safe to assume this was the master of this labyrinth. While it was strong, it's similar to the other greeds wandering about. And it wasn't that hard to beat. Agreed. It must have been an orc type that evolved into an s greed. Although not as powerful as elder greeds, you still need to stay on your toes. Sometimes, you'll come across some very powerful s greeds lurking in the shadows. And the moment you let your guard down against one could be fatal. Don't scare us like that. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> For now, let's head to the gate that should have opened up ahead. We can return to reality from there. Yes. Roger. After I get this item. Ooh, ecstasy thing. Cool, cool. Oh boy! Yeah. Okay. See? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> 
And it's blue! And now it's just a swirly, misty thing. Excellent. Why is the gate blue now? I'd like to know why it's a swirly, misty thing. It's just like the one we saw in Brick Alley. But what's with the tremor? This one is at phase zero. It's not a threat, but it has some kind of connection to the real world. Connection? Can't we just make it go away like the last time? Unfortunately not. From its appearance, the connection, ha to it ha ah. the connection it has to this place is exceptionally strong. For now, all we can do is wait and see. Really? I think leaving it as is is a really bad idea. Anyway, thanks for calling in help for this, Hiragi. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to make things easier for everyone. <laughs> That's a legit reason. This kind of thing isn't something you should be dealing with alone anyway. Ko, you're right. That's my job, though. <sighs> Whatever. Don't worry. I'll spend more time on eclipse hunting from now on. Sora, I'm definitely going to need your help whenever I have to head into the eclipse. Yes, of course! <sighs> well, thanks for helping out. By the way, Hiragi, you were out looking for signs of an eclipse today, right? Find any? Nope. I went to all the usual places, but I didn't come across anything to worry about. I think I'm going to go home for the day and relax a little. Asuka, where are you staying? At the cafe, copy shop 17 in Brick Alley. I live on one of the apartments on the second floor. If anything comes up, that's where you can find me. Stop by any time. Yes, thank you. If something does come, you'll definitely be the first person I talk to. Um, when I said stop by any time, I was talking to Sora. Ugh. Ha, I'm joking. <laughs> Completed the quest eclipse hunting. Hooray! I got more virtue! Oh, I'm friendly! Ooh, and I can spend more free time! <gasps> That's how I get more affinity shards! Okay, challenge free dungeons when you find gates, and once you beat it, you can obtain soul points, courage points, and obtain an affinity shard. Only first time completion for new dungeons, though. And only during free time. That is excellent, though. Absolutely. That makes me really happy because I had worried about uh, how, how you actually obtain more affinity shards other than questing. In fact, actually, because of that, let me see. Chapter 3, is there any more? Uh, no. There's no more new quests. Darn. Okay, well, I have another affinity shard, so who should I pay attention to? Um, that's Raicho. I don't want to go there. Um, I'm not a really big fan of the, uh, <laughs> the musician girl, Spika. So, do I want to pay attention to Toa or the... Uh, you know what? I think I will go pay attention to the uh, guy teacher because I don't really know much about him. And I'm kind of curious. That's the second floor, right? Yeah. So, Oh, that's very nice. I will remember to do that. I actually didn't come back in here and talk to them, so I'll have this, uh, have to do this again. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've seen this. We got new computers and they're amazing. Look at them, they're so beautiful. All of the computers.
Okay. Where have you gone off to? I want to hang out with you. See what's going on. You are in the clubhouse. Okay. Wait, can I go that way? No. Am I going the right way? No. <laughs> Take me a moment to figure out where I need to go. Okay, clubhouse. Was he upstairs? Or no, he was by the machine. Mr. Goro, what are you doing in the clubhouse? Just resting for a bit before heading back to work. I've seen you looking tired sometimes. You should take a break when you have the chance. Don't push yourself too hard working. You don't have the stamina of a little kid anymore. He's right. Should I take a break? Yeah. That's a good idea. I think I'll take a break too. Yeah? Well then. Here, Tokisaka. Mr. Goro handed me a can of coffee. Uh, are you sure? A small thanks for your help in the computer lab earlier. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> thanks. Huh, being in the cafeteria after school feels kind of nice somehow. Yeah, it's usually pretty empty around this time. Some of us teachers use it after hours when we're busy. Oh, I didn't know. I tend to leave right after the bell. Ah, Mr. Goro! Jeez, they stalk him even after class. Perfect timing! I was just looking for you. I wanted to ask you about the hobby you talked about. Oh, you mean mountain climbing? I think I did mention it once during class. Yeah, I got super interested in it after hearing you talk about it. Can you give me some tips on what I need to start? <laughs> sure, not a problem. You like mountain climbing, Mr. Goro? Yeah, sometimes I go on my days off. It really is refreshing being in the outdoors. Sorry, Tokusaka, just a minute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Excuse me. And then... Oh my goodness. Oh, Mr. Goro, great. There's something I needed to ask you. Do you have a sec? Anything I can do to help? Did something happen? <laughs> well, it's nothing too serious, but I wanted to get a weightlifting thing I saw on TV, but it's from overseas. Since you traveled a lot, I was wondering if you knew how to order it. <laughs> Is that all? Sit right down, I'll walk you through it. Thanks, Mr. Goro. Huh. Mr. Goro continued to advise students who stopped by as I looked on. He's apparently a good guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't think things would get so hectic. No, it's all right. I knew you were popular with the girls, but it seems like the guys respect you a lot, too. They come to talk to you about uh, stuff that's not even school stuff. I gotta say, my opinion of you has changed. <laughs> it's the duty of every teacher to do their best for the students in any way they can. If there's ever anything you need, feel free to ask. And it doesn't have to be related to class, either. Oh my god, he's sparkly! All-around nice guy that's mature and reliable. No wonder he's so popular. Yay! <laughs> okay. Well, I, not like I had a bad opinion of him before, but he seems nice. Alright, it looks like in the next episode we will be heading for... Horaicho, and I believe that is my, yes, my part-time job. So, we will be getting that done. Alright, well until then, thanks everyone for watching. Bye!